Hello, I'm Robert Turrell, creative technologist and trainer. I've been developing applications in one form or another for over 25 years, and like many of you, I moved to developing mobile applications for iOS because I was not only intrigued by the opportunities that iOS app development offers, but also because I simply love what devices like the iPhone and iPad have done to bring a new level of user experience to our lives. The course you're about to work through is designed for developers who have an understanding of programming concepts, ideally including object-oriented or event-driven development. It's not necessary, however, for you to have had any experience building iPhone or iOS applications. We'll start off by looking at how you can set yourself up with the right software and sign up for the Apple Developer Program if you wish. Then we'll talk through the tools you'll use to create iOS applications, the techniques involved, and how you can quickly get your first application up and running. After that, I'll take you through the various types of applications you can develop, show you how to build user interfaces and program your applications to respond to user interaction, and we'll cover the most common types of interfaces, including table views or lists of data and flip views. And we'll wrap up the course with some lessons on how to save and retrieve application data on the user's iOS device. All lessons in the course will be capable of running in the iOS simulator on your laptop, and so there's no need to sign up for Apple's paid developer program in order to follow this course. For those who do wish to sign up for the paid developer program, a prerequisite for running your apps on an actual device, an extra lesson at the end of the course will then take you through the steps needed to run and test your apps on your own iOS device. Project code is available for you in the Project Files folder, and we'll be working through this code as we progress through the course. My aim is to provide you with the tools and practical knowledge you need to start building iOS applications. So let's get started.